In this video, we will look at solving exponential equations by finding a common base. What an exponential function is, is any function f of x that has the variable x in the exponent. This is important to note that the variable is in the exponent. This means x squared would not be an exponential function because the variable would be the base. When we're solving exponential functions, they're quite nice to solve if the bases are equal. Because if the bases are equal, then we can also say the exponents are equal as well. As we do this, it will be useful to recall the exponent property a to the m to the n where we can just multiply those exponents together. Let's take a look at some examples where we do this. In this problem, we'll see that we've got the same base of 7 on both sides. Because those bases are equal, we also can say that these exponents must be equal as well. In other words, 3x minus 6 is equal to 5x plus 2. This gives us an equation we can quickly solve by moving the variables to the same side, subtracting 3x, to get negative 6 equals 2x plus 2, subtracting 2, to get negative 8 equals 2x, and then finally dividing by 2 to find our value for x is equal to negative 4. This quick trick is really nice to use when the bases are both the same, setting the exponents equal. However, we don't always have equal bases. In this case, what we will want to do is rewrite both sides of the equation as an exponential form sh so that we have the same base on both sides. For example, we can rewrite the 81 on the right side with a base of 3. Notice 81 is 3 to the 4th power. We still have the 4x outside of those parentheses. Since we've got a base of 3 on the right side, we also want to have a base of 3 on the left side. You may recall that a fraction with 1 on top is created with a negative exponent. We will make this 3 to the negative 1, which would create that fraction. The x is still on the outside of that entire expression. Now we can use our exponent properties to combine those exponents together to give us 3 to the negative x equals 3 to the 16x by multiplying the exponents together. Now we see that we've got the same base on both sides. Once we have the same base, we can also say that the exponents must be equal to each other. Negative x equals 16x. Remember, we cannot divide by a variable, so let's move the variables all to the same side by adding x. When the x's subtract out completely, we're still left with a 0. 0 equals 17x. To get the x alone, we simply divide by 17, and we find out x in this equation is equal to 0. By rewriting our numbers as an exponential function with the same base on both sides, we can quickly solve by setting those exponents equal to each other.